a decade of uh, fighting the federal government, the old Lim has uh, finally won the right to put his eastern herbs and uh, medicines alongside the aspirin in Aussie chemists. His unconventional treatments have been tried and tested by uh, marathon runners, by royalty, even star racehorses. So would you please welcome, let's talk about that with uh, Yon and Lim. Please welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Yon. Thank you, Ray. Now, congratulations, because, uh, I mean, it really has been almost, a, what, an eight or nine year fight against the federal government to get the right just to put these Eastern remedies on the chemist shelves. Yeah, that's very hard. See, because traditionally Chinese medicine is quite different from Western, in the sense is that Western medicine treat the symptoms, whereas Chinese medicine treat the cause of the problem. And traditionally, we only give you the raw herbs like this. Right. And from these raw herbs, to make it into an acceptable form, in the Western acceptable form is a major step in itself. A lot of high technology is involved. Just the processing from Just that. Just the processing that. from that. Can you imagine this? About roughly about ten times that to give you a bottle of this. So normally when That's we what it would take. What yeah, all of those you mean? Ten times. Really? Ten times the amount to give you a bottle of that. All right. So it's it's quite a tremendous technological advance that we have developed ourselves within our clinic and laboratories. Moreover, the uh, Western medicine will require it to have a certain uh, test done, which is like, a, like, a, like the uh, Christianity, using the Christianity Bible to judge Buddhism. Yes. And that is, has been a tremendous difficulties in, in, in doing that. And we are quite pleased that finally we, we managed to comply, comply with, uh, uh, comply with the uh, Western regulations. regulations. But I mean, it really, in most other parts of the world, the unconventional, if you like, or Eastern medicine has been accepted as a, a valid medicine. Yes, it's only in Western countries that they don't accept, but yes. throughout the world, if you take the world population by and large, 60% of the people don't go to Western medicine. Mm -hmm. They go to uh, the other form of medicine. All right, what's the most common complaint in terms of arthritis. what you've got here? Arthritis. arthritis? Is a, it, it, How many people suffer from arthritis? It's a lot. Yes. And although a lot of the people yes. don't realize they suffer from arthritis, the beginning of it is it feels like aches and pain. When the weather changes, you get aches and pain. When, when at night, when you want to sleep, when your husband wants want something, you say, I got back ache or something. <laughs> that is the beginning of arthritis. That is very that's, important. Oh. Beginning of arthritis. That's different to a headache, is it? That's nearly the same. <laughs> Now, th this is what we call pre-arthritic stage. And if you can stop that stage, then obviously you do not progress into arthritis. And this is why if you take the world population by and large, Western people got more arthritis. You know why? That is because they don't, they don't give themselves treatment before it develops in... Uh, pre Pre preventative. Preventative, yeah. Right? yeah. Yes. Whereas we prevent. Western medicine don't prevent. All right. Well, what are we looking at? What the sort of thing that... that uh, as you, uh, well, all these such extract into, in, into two different medicines. What, what One, are they? Well... Gum leaves? Gum leaves is... Uh, An old Chinese it, plant? Gum leaves? No, thi this is Australian. This is why we're combining Western technology with Eastern. Right. East meets the West. Traditionally, the medicine is very smelly, and this is why it's not accepted by the Western people, and this is why maybe a lot of Western people run away from alternative medicine. So we managed to find the uh, chemistry of the gum leaf and find that it is compatible to our medicine, so add that on to get away the foul smell of the Chinese medicine. And uh, of course, so there are sea, sea fungus that we have, right sea fungus, and uh, there are some other teas that we have, and some of these are found in Australia now, so we do not have to import it. Are you processing this in Australia? Is yes, we process it in our own laboratories. It's quite we, a revolutionary invest, breakthrough. We, it? It, is, it is a high-tech breakthrough. Um, so we extract it into two medicine. One, one is to rub on. This is for you to rub on. Arthi rub? Arthri rub oil is to rub on. Rub. And one arthri max is to, uh, uh, for you to take to prevent you from getting rheumatoid arthritis and um, other form of arthritis or any other aches and pains such as headache. All right. Well, we want to come back next time. You come back and talk about acupuncture as well, which is interesting. But, but it's just we thought it was worth, after this fight for eight or nine years, to actually get the right to... Uh, no one's saying this guarantees that you won't have arthritis, but all you're simply saying is that this is a Western this is an Eastern tradition, and that Australians should have the right to at least try it? Well, uh, we, we have already a lot of Australians trying it throughout Australia, yes. and uh, more, more so there are roughly about half a million people have tried that medicine so yes. far since my arrival in Australia. And, uh, and once again, to all this times ten to get into one of those uh, bottles? One of those bottles, yes. All right, we well, thank you for that. We'll come back and talk about uh, acupuncture some other time with you. Would you please thank uh, Yon and Lim for it? Thank you. Well, well done. Sorry, thank you. Well done. Right. See you again. Don't leave me yet.
After the break, uh, Wilbur Wilde joins us with his band uh, in just a moment. Thank you. 